Okay, so over the course of the many semesters that I have taught this, I have come to understand that some of you arrive in this class because it's a requirement, but you have absolutely no experience or knowledge of HTML or how it comes about. So I have decided to create a video that really just introduces you to the concept of HTML and really takes a very beginning aspect and, and takes you in very slowly and introduces you to HTML and uh, the tags associated with HTML. Okay, a very uh, core concept about HTML is the first thing you will notice is that it operates in, in, in pairs of, of carrots. Okay, these carrots surround a tag and what when the web browser it reads code it sees those carrots and it knows that what's inside that carrot isn't intended to be displayed it's intended to tell the browser how to display what is um, contained inside the tag okay so without further ado let's make some tags okay first every HTML document starts with a uh, a, a, and tags come in pairs. Okay, this is an opening HTML tag. It has, it has one that looks just like it, that looks like this, and it has a slash. That added slash is the closing tag. So everything that's inside of between between this carrot and this carrot, everything that's inside of that, it's um, HTML. Well, there's nothing inside of here, so let's make some let's make some things inside. I'll spread out that HTML a little bit, and we're going to start with the next element that we see uh, in a web document, and that is a that's a head. Okay, and I've so I've made the head tag, and I'm going to arrow down a few, and I'm going to close the tag because I've I've opened up the head. I need to close it, so I'm going to close H. E A D, and I'm going to use my carrots. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is put an uh, is to put an HTML tag called a title. Okay. Okay, and we're going to uh, let me close my close my carrot here, and we're going to type in a title. So uh, this is the pages title okay we're gonna close the title tag t-i-t-l-e okay so here we have this is an opening title tag what is contained inside of this is what has been marked up it has been marked up as the pages title and so this tells the web browser that when it reads this tag that that's code and that code is telling the browser, okay, until you see the closing of the title tag, everything that's inside of here is the page's title. So this is the page's title, and then there is the closing tag. Okay, a very important concept that I see a lot of beginning HTML coders have a hard time understanding is the concept of the closing tag. If you leave this tag off, okay, some browsers these days are smart enough that when they detect the beginning of another tag, they'll close that opened tag automatically. You should not rely on that to happen, though, because weird things start happening when you leave code um, unclosed. So, by and large, you're going to want to make sure everything that you do has an opening tag and a closing tag. And the closing tag, it looks just like the opening tag, but it has the slash. Okay, so now underneath of the head, we're going to open up a body tag. All right, and we are going to use an attribute inside the body tag to give additional information about the body to the web browser. We're going to use an attribute that's called BG color. 
So for BG Color, it supports about 200 or so words for colors. It also supports hexadecimal values for color. You can find hexadecimal values for color by searching on Google. Okay, so I've pulled up a, a very basic color picker website, www.colorpicker.com, and it brings you to this square with a slider next to it. Okay, so there is billions and billions of colors, and you can slide this up and down to pick something uh, in a range. Like, I think I will choose, I'm going to choose something in the blue range, and then you just click and um, let's see, that one's going to be too dark to show text, so I'm going to use something like that. Okay, so I'm going to take that, I clicked there, it gives you the color, so this, this one, I'm going to uh, control C, so I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to come back into uh, my HTML, so I'll move that color picker out of the way, and I'll come back to my HTML, and I'm going to put a pound sign. This tells the HTML that, hey, what I'm typing here is not a word, this is a hexadecimal color. And then I'm going to control V or paste what I had just copied from the color picker and that creates my nice blue color. And so then I will uh, put another quotation mark around the uh, end of that. I will make my carrot and then I'm going to scroll all the way down to the end of my HTML and I'm going to put a slash body and a carrot. Okay, that closes my HTML's body. Everything else that's inside of your document is gonna be your body. So the HTML file is this whole piece, top to bottom, and it is composed of two major like sub parts. You've got the head and the body. This BG color I mentioned it before, I'll mention it again, it's called an attribute. An attribute for an HTML element will be followed by an equal sign. Always will be followed by an equal sign. The next thing that it will always be followed with is a quotation mark. And then there will be some value inside and there will be another quotation mark. The second most common thing that I see errors in as far as code with HTML is that students forget to close the quotation marks around the attributes of an HTML or, or yeah they forget to close the quotation marks around the HTML uh, attributes okay that needs to be closed the other thing that I see a lot of students forget is to put the equal sign. So they will try an attribute and they'll use their quotation marks, but they'll forget to put the equal sign. And that will produce code that does not work or that looks funny. So remember always to use an equal sign and then attributes the values of the attributes are always enclosed inside of quotation marks. Okay, so the next thing we will do is we'll put some words on this page. Because right now, all we've done is create a web page that's going to have a background that's kind of a light blue color. So we want to add some words. So we can just start typing. Um, you know, we, we can just we can just start typing. However, these words are not formatted. They are just on the page. Okay, we have not applied any formatting to these words. So they're just gonna show up. Well, what if you want them to show up in a certain way? Well, that's what HTML is for. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. You, what are you marking up? You're marking up different 
values, and different text. So if we wanted to start giving this a different look, we could do that by using different HTML tags. One of the most basic HTML tags is the paragraph tag, and that looks like this. It's a P, it has the, it has the carrots, the opening carrot, it's followed by a P, the letter P, and a closing carrot. We've opened the paragraph, we need to close the paragraph. We go to the end of the line, we type a carrot, we type a slash, we type a P, and we type a carrot. Is this starting to look familiar or starting to look like it's making a little bit of sense here? So what we've done is we've just encased that a bit of typing inside of a, a paragraph. So I'm going to take this paragraph and, or this paragraph, this like couple of sentences, and I'm, I'm going to paste this sentence over and over and over again because I want to show you some different HTML uh, think things that we, tags that we can use. We can also format this. Let's say we wanted it to be uh, indented some. We want this paragraph to appear with some space above or below and also to be indented from. We can do that with an attribute that's called block quote block quote. So we're going to start here with opening the caret. We're going to type block quote. All right, we're going to close that. You can leave this text inside of here. I'm just giving it a tab over just to make it look nice. We've opened the block quote. By now, you should be catching on that what we need to do is close the block quote. And the closing of the block quote looks an awful lot like the opening except for the slash. Okay, there we go. Um, let's take another paragraph and we let's take this one. I'm going to put it inside of our, our paragraph tags. And we'll make this paragraph look like it's um, italicized. Now that's a funny one because it used to be called italics and it used to be called I, but it's not called that anymore. It's called EM for emphasis. So we open the emphasis tag and let's say I just want some of it to be um, italics. I just want the rest of it to look normal. So I'll put it around. We can just I just noticed how horrible my language is there. What does that say? We can just typing. However, these words are not. We can just we can just type. I'm gonna, let me fix this because I can't stand looking at that now that I see that it says typing all over the place. So I'm going to type. Okay, there we go. All right, now that's better. A little bit better English. Okay, so at the end of this, we're going to get back to what we were doing before, which is closing the EM tag. So we're going to do a, a carrot and a slash, EM and a carrot. Now, HTML ignores white space. So the fact that there's a line break right here, between here and here, and the fact that there's this big white space right here, HTML ignores that white space. But I formatted it that way because it's easier to kind of look at the code and, okay, so I made a block quote. What does a block quote do? It indents things. So I indented the text as I'm typing it. It kind of helps me look at it and see what it is that I'm, I'm writing okay so there we go and we'll uh, continue to just um, add some things let's add a paragraph uh, to this one as well okay and I, I I use the home and end keys I'm gonna put a paragraph around this one as well so, carrot slash p carrot 
and that closes my paragraphs. So I've opened my paragraphs, I've closed all my paragraphs. All right, so on this one, we'll say on we can just type, we're gonna make this we can just type, uh, let's make it bold. Here's another one that it used to be the letter B inside of it, but it's not a letter B anymore. It is the word strong. Okay, now around we can just type. And at the end of type, we're gonna be done with our strong, our bold piece. So we do a carrot, we do a slash, we do a strong. Okay, so now that one is going to appear as as bold. Okay, there's another one that we will do later in the units as we're doing. It's a um, like a teletype format. This makes it just switch font. It goes to like a, a mono space font, like courier or something, and we'll use the the TT, which stands for teletype, and we will close the TT tag. Pretty interesting. All right, so we've got the hang of this now where we're opening tags and we're closing tags by using that, you know, the slash and, and we've got it down to a rhythm where uh, HTML tags always come in pairs and that they tell the browser how to render some kind of text or something that's in the middle of of the tags all right so let's do something a little more advanced because I want to show you some other things about HTML uh, something very important because we're going to use a lot of these in HTML one of the cool things about HTML is that it has the ability to link things together it has ability to link pages it has an ability to link images and you can link all of these things together and that's great but we need to create links and there's a very specific way we do that we're gonna start with an opening carrot a link is called an anchor an anchor like you would throw an anchor off your boat to keep yourself steady in the water it's an anchor and it starts the tag is an a okay then it's followed by the following h r e f and the h ref is the location that you want to send the anchor to h ref is an attribute of an anchor tag is this starting to make sense okay so then as an attribute just like BG color when we used the BG color up here earlier there was a syntax involved with attributes on an HTML element and that syntax is like this it goes with an equal sign it goes with a quotation mark it goes with a quotation mark it goes with a carrot okay that is the that's an attribute of this we can add more attributes there is another attribute called um, like if you let's say you want this to open in an entirely separate window there's a really really good resource that you can pull up if you want to learn about different kinds of HTML tags. You can type in w3schools.com and you can find there every HTML tag that ever existed. And you can read all about these kinds of these different tags. You can learn about the attributes and things. So what we're going to do is we're going to look and you can see the support for various browsers and whatnot. And what I want to do is show you some of the uh, the attributes that can be associated with, and this is all of them. And what we were going to do is we were talking about making this open in a new window, and that one is called the target. 
All right, and so we'll add that to this. We'll say target equals, this is an attribute, so it has quotation marks, and I'm gonna go back. So I, I typed, I went ahead and typed, and this is kind of a habit that I've developed as a coder, is the, the minute that I type the equal sign, the minute that I open the quotation marks, I go ahead and close them just so that I always know that I remember I remembered to close it. Okay, then I arrow back and then I fill in. So if I fill in with a target and an underscore and the word blank, then what that does is it opens this link up in a new window. And target is an attribute of our anchor link. Okay, so there we're gonna put this in there, and then, um, we need some words. Uh, this is a hyperlink, and then we we've opened our anchor, but we need to close it. So we start with a caret, we do a slash, we do an a, and we do a caret, and that closes the hyperlink. Now this link goes nowhere right now because the href is empty so we need to type something in here and I will put www.tcc.edu okay and then a slash and that is the hyperlink so that hyperlink will go to Tidewater Community College's homepage some very important things, uh, very common mistakes that I see. Again, attributes. Big thing is I see students forget to close the quotation marks. When you forget to close the quotation marks, funny stuff happens. Uh, your page may not work. The link may not work. Everything is um, goes downhill fast. The other thing that students forget to do a lot is they forget they forget to type this little guy right here. Um, so they leave their link like that. It's a big problem. You can get yourself in a royal mess by not closing your, uh, your tags. So always make sure that you close your tags and you'll be in good shape. So in the course of this web project, we are going to link together files. We're going to create hyperlinks to resources. And um, we're going to format text. And we're going to create tables and all sorts of things. This introduction is you know, geared towards giving you that really basic you know I, that I haven't seen anything like this out on YouTube which is why I recorded it myself but that real basic introduction to HTML so welcome to the super beginnings of HTML and now that you have kind of a, a foundation I wish you great luck and success on your student web projects